Happy Saturday, everybody. We are back, and we're back with some more crazy MCU news. I can't believe what's going on with this studio, but it's par for the course, let's be honest. Every single time they make one of these movies these days, they have to make some sort of weird identity thing about it. And honestly, I think they do it more to make news than they actually do because they're just trying to actually do some sort of gender thing at this point. I think it is this cynical, and I think the movie studio knows that they're going to get a little bit of press... Uh, for these kinds of decisions, and so they go this direction uh, every single time. So we're going to get into what they're doing with the Fantastic Four with the gender swapping. Yes. Oh, joy. Uh, <laughs> in just a moment, and uh, we'll be back. <laughs> I say this like there's going to be a commercial, because there kind of is. My name is John Della Rose. If you're new to the channel, I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator. This is my Flying Sparks. I've got no gender-swapped characters in here. I've got a meta girl on the cover right here, as you can see. I've also got a meta man, and he is a full-on red-blooded American male. Yes, it's uh, it's illegal to have this in a film or comic book these days, but I've done it. <laughs> so check it out. If you like the way that Marvel Comics used to be, the Fantastic Four was wonderful when John Byrne helmed that in the 80s. Oh my gosh. Wonderful stuff. I can go off on that for hours, but we're trying to recreate the fun and adventure that they had back then. So check it out. The link's in the description below. Every graphic novel, of course, supports our efforts here and supports the channel. And I really appreciate you guys for coming in so hard so far. Okay. The news of the day. Here it is. Marvel Studios is eyeing Mila Kunis to play the role of the Thing in MCU's Fantastic Four. That's right. No hate to Mila, but if this happens, it's going to be a disaster. I don't know how to explain it, but this would never work. Now, they have a gender-swapped Thing. It's kind of like uh, they, they made her into like Thing's girlfriend for a while in the comics. So they do have a character already that is like a female Thing. It didn't replace Ben Grimm. It just like kind of added it. Like they, you know, like they always have done. They add, you know, Superman, Supergirl, Batman. And bad girl it, it goes down the thing the, the chain now there has been a period where ben Grimm has been dead and of course dead with quotation marks in the comics and she took over it's kind of obnoxious to see that kind of thing it always is obnoxious when they do this in the comics it's kind of their like uh i guess they try to put a spin on things to like add their sjw crap into things but now that they're adding this to the movies it's even worse when you see uh something like this and if this girl actually does land the role of the thing, it's going to be a travesty for a Fantastic Four film because it just doesn't feel right. It's not the iconic characters. And they're doing it just to like rattle the bones of us and rattle the bones of anybody who like is a reasonable comic fan uh, and just kind of fly a middle finger in your face. I mean, that is really what it is at the end of the day. And so these things have been happening more and more. It's usually a race swap uh, or with uh, Captain Marvel, it's kind of a gender, gender swap because they're ignoring the original Captain Marvel and kind of giving Carol Danvers that origin in the films, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, but for the most part, Marvel has uh, really just race changed the characters. I mean, it was very odd seeing a very black Kang in <laughs> Ant-Man when he's supposed to be an alien, but whatever. Uh, that's what they do all the time. And now it's just getting worse. Uh, so we're going to see this kind of thing happening. And uh, I just hope that they don't mess up the Fantastic Four again. This franchise, they've tried to get it off the ground so many times, and every single time they've really screwed it up royally. I don't know how. It's such a simple story. It's such a beautiful family story, you'd think. But unfortunately, Marvel and DC, and especially Disney and Hollywood, doesn't understand families, so they can't tell family stories in a good uh, sort of wholesome direction. So they do the kind of degeneracy that they always do. It's very sad to watch. All right, what do you think? Are you going to even watch the Fantastic Four film? I don't know. I am I don't know if I'm going to. I, I don't know if I can handle another disappointment. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.